Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here from Battlestrats.com, and we are taking a look at some Bad Company 2 footage now. I filmed this last night. Uh, we've actually been getting on and playing Bad Company just about every night the past few nights. Uh, really enjoyed it and getting together with you know all of our friends, and they're getting back into it. So it's a it's a really good time, and I still really love and enjoy this game. Um, while we've been playing though there has been a stat issue where everybody's at rank like one or zero you don't have your unlocks etc unless you stay in a room for a very long time and then if you stay in the room for a really long time then all of a sudden uh, your stats eventually come back most of the time uh, so we had been in this room for a, a, a while and my stats have come back so <clears throat> So you're getting to see me play as an engineer. I'm using the ump, and I've got rockets. Even though there's no vehicles on this map, uh, I still like using rockets on this one, uh, simply because there's a lot of buildings, so uh, rockets do come in handy. And I love using the engineer guns. Um, uh, I used to use the PP-2000 all the time. Uh, Lady Dragon actually got me into using the ump now, uh, and I like it. It's just a really short clip, so you have to be really careful. Just be sure that you're... Uh, you know, just tapping the trigger, letting out a few bullets at a time, and uh, it, you're, you're probably going to have to reload a lot, as you'll see me do several times uh, during this. Because I want to be sure that if, you know, if, I'm, if I meet a couple of enemies like I do uh, here in a few minutes, that, uh, that I've got plenty of ammo uh, to keep me rolling through all of them. And I love whenever I find a group like that that's just spawning on top of one another. Um, you know, if you're in a situation like that, just go down, reload, and then pop back up whenever you feel the time uh, is to pop back up. So you'll see I got caught by uh, a bloody finger. Uh, he was up there sniping, so I decide that I'm going to go up there and try to take care of him. You know, we're doing really well on bases. Uh, the only one we don't have at this point is C. Um, so I'm going to go up here and try to take care of of these snipers. If there's one thing I hate, it's just people who aren't helping uh, your team. And you're going to see once I get up here, that there's like three people on their team that does nothing the entire game but snipe. And uh, it's it's really frustrating, I'm sure, for their other teammates because uh, we totally dominated this game. But it's it's easy to see why when you have so many people who are just sitting up there sniping not going for the objectives and yeah they may be putting people down and they may be spotting but when you have three people on your team of twelve uh... then that is not a really good ratio especially when you're playing conquest um, you know snipers can help out definitely a lot more on games like rush uh... where if you're in a position you can actually uh, see the crate, you could defend it, keep people off of it. But on Conquest, especially on this map, too many people can hide in buildings and uh, and get out of sight from the sniper. So I find my culprit sniper, and uh, I see that he's not moving, so I just decided to have a little fun with him. Uh, and I'm sending in this message, and, and thankfully I had somebody on my team who was very nice and considerate because he had this guy in a scope, and he's like, who's that up there behind him? And I tell him, it's me, so please don't shoot him, and he obliges and doesn't. So I just sent him a, a quick little message, <clears throat> and uh, cl click send, but he tells me I've got somebody else coming up behind me, so I have to move pretty quick, so I don't have time for him to answer it. Uh, so I go ahead and take him out, and then run up here and grab another one. The guy actually sent me a message back later on in the game and said, Sniping, duh. Uh, so I don't know what I was thinking, you know. Um, so a lot of these people, I think, actually do believe they are sincerely helping the team. They just don't uh, realize that they're they're kidding themselves when everybody's sitting up there sniping, not moving, and their team is losing dramatically. Uh, so, uh, and that last guy, you know, you could shoot somebody like that, but if you find a sniper, and you can easily rocket them. For some reason, that seems to make them a little bit more angry. I would have sent him another message, but I saw this other guy back behind him kind of covering his back, so I thought it would just be safer just to go ahead and shoot him and run back down. And I actually go through this process several times throughout the game. I go up there, I'm trying to flush him out. Uh, I, I guess it's kind of like I see those commercials on uh, herpes 
uh, you know, it doesn't cure the the disease or whatever it is, but if you keep putting it on there, you can kind of clear it away from that area for a little bit. So I'm just trying to cure the herpes at this point, and I keep on going up here, uh, trying to clear out these snipers. And uh, eventually, near the end of the game, they do become a lot less noticeable up here. So uh, they, they stop just coming up here uh, to die. Uh, but it did take a few times of me doing it. So I hope you've all enjoyed this uh, short little clip. You'll see that I've went on ahead and skipped forward a, a good bit in this game. And uh, here we are about to win. And we've got 205 tickets and they've got 7. Uh, and a lot of it has to do simply because they had so many people on their team just up here not going for the flags. So how can you expect the team to have a flag? So it's frustrating for both teams. It's frustrating for the team who has the snipers. And it's frustrating for the team who's going against them because, you know, we're wanting some good competition. And um, uh, these people just want to work on their kill-to-death ratio. But whatever it is, what it is. Hopefully uh, the DICE team figures out a way to better balance that uh, coming up in Battlefield 3. So if you want more tips, tricks, hints, you want to uh, play with uh, more teammates on Bad Company 2, check out BattleStrats.com and join in on our forums. Thanks for watching.